right, guys. Ripple deck. Uh, Merry Christmas and all that jazz. Uh, honestly, this Ripple deck isn't quite complete. I'm satisfied with where it is now, but I want to change out some things, and I will make it known where and how it's going to happen. Uh, but until then, Grade 0 is Ripple. If it's ridden by the Grade 1 Ripple, top 7 of the deck, search for a Grade 2 or Grade 3 Ripple. Specifically, uh, Genovius or Pavroth. Three draws, Malika, put in the soul, plus three pack. Uh, ripple of Demise, or Rest. Through four of these, instead of the Ripple thing, put this unit at the bottom of the deck at the end of the battle that this unit boosted. If you have two or more other units with Ripple in the card name that are tapped, you may pay the cost if you do. Bottom of the deck. Um, look at top five, search for one card, reveal it to the opponent, put it in the hand shuffle deck. Two more crits. Uh, then we have... Three crit triggers that go into the soul to turn up the damage. Honestly, I won't really need these too much just in case. Uh, Legs McGee, some of the finest art that's ever been made for uh, Aqua Force heals. But the Blue Storm Aqua Boom is pretty nice. Just my type of woman. <sighs> so, right now I'm running one uh, Chloris. However, I would like to run four or so. Uh, or less, I don't know, two at least. Um, I don't really want one perfects in this. I'm just going to go full balls deep, uh, uh, aggressive. But fourth time or more, soul blast one, this unit boosts, bind the top card of the deck face up. So it could be a 10k, it could be a 5k, it could be a grade 3. Then at the beginning of the guard step, the battle unit was attacked. Choosing number face of cards from your bind zone, column the guardian circle as tapped, and then plus 5k. So it could be a 15k shield, a 10k shield, or a 5k shield. Point is, you don't need as many perfects. Then we have... Dispatch mission Seagull Soldier, wave four time or more, the end of Ellis unit boosted, return this unit to hand. Um, this unit is placed on rear guard circle, soul blast one, choose something plus three guy. He's there to boost my units so that they're less able to guard in turn two. Three perfects, again, I'm going to turn themselves into something else later on when I figure them out. Four, flash ripple Odysseus, once per turn, choose one of your other rear guards, put it into the soul, search your deck for one card with ripple, saying grade, ride it, stood and shuffle your deck. If you rode, choose one card not named, Flash Ripple Odysseus, same grade as your Vanguard from your soul, call it to Rearguard Circle, then you get plus 2k until end of turn. And then, this is a uh, real quick Sotiro. Um, it's an AK if you got the starter and the soul. And then when you don't have a Pavroth ridden, you can actually look at the top seven cards of your deck, search for a Pavroth, ride it, shuffle your deck. Uh, so basically what you do is, you play this, Look at the top card of the deck for a grade one, grade two. It's an Odysseus. Call him. Use his ability to send this into soul. Ride a Pavros. Send it back out. Um, and then sum this out and get another card. Oh, hey, look. It's another Sea Turtle Rescue Soldier. Oh, look. It's another Odysseus. You see where this is going. Uh, this is a BS card. This is a real BS card. Because it can repair field even though when I've killed everything. Um... I built a deck that was designed to just kill everything all the time. And it did kill everything all the time. But this and this can repair the field. It's pretty impressive. Um, so, four sea turtle soldiers. I already described what they do. Three tidal assaults. I don't like tidal assault. Maybe you should run four. Uh, but I just, it's not something I enjoy. I don't like the fact that he loses 5k. And I prefer other dudes. Maybe I should just run three of Lapis. Unruly Ripple if it attacks. Two or more tapped with Ripple. Uh, gets plus 3k. So it's a 12k attacker at some point. Pavroth. Uh, it's a 10k uh, with Soterio in the soul. Uh, we'll see you attack. It's a Vanguard if you have a card named Silent Ripple Sotario. Choose an Aqua Force Rearguard. Stand it. Plus 3k. If you do this right, you can one turn kill them from zero. Not even joking. So basically what you do is you say, you attack, they take it. You attack with Pavroth and they take it. Um, and then you put the crit on there and that's five damage. And that assumes that you have something else here that also hits. But, you know, from a full field, it can be go down all the way to zero. Especially if they don't get any triggers. And especially if you like put it on title assault like the asshole, I hope you are. Um, finally, four Genoviuses. I'm not running many grade 3s because this thing laughs at grade 3s. If I don't run into grade 3, they can't stride or legion, which means they can't do shit. Um, boom. 
Counterblast 2 discarded Genovius. Uh, choose a battle unit was attacked to Vanguard. Number of tapped Aqua Force in your rear guard. Uh, front row is 3. You pay the cost if you do sand all units. Uh, sand all Aqua Force rear guard, excuse me. And then it gets an 11k of Power Off of the Soul. Pretty good. Uh, I like him. I, I run 4 of him for a reason. I was running him before Ripples. I just want to make that very clear that this is no bandwagon I'm getting on. I was already on the bandwagon. Um, I am the original hipster of Cardbite. Yeah, damn straight. Uh, Surging Ripple Podromos. I only run two of these because striding not really my thing. But I'm going to run enough strides to... Um, you know, I'm going to run some Tidal Wars. I'm going to run some Madus, that sort of thing. But forgetting that and the new guy. Uh, choose a face down, Surging Ripple Podromos, turn it face up, tag hits, <coughs> you have a heart with Ripple, look at top five cards of the deck, search for two Ripples, call them the separate rearguard shuffle five. And they of course can attack and all that jazz. They don't get triggers, thank goodness, but at the same time, if you do it right, you can get an Odysseus and a, um, I don't know, a Pavroth or a Lapis, and then you get more attacks at very high numbers, which just keeps going and going and going, and it's very unpleasant. Or you can get two boosters. You know, just just whatever. Uh, that's my deck. Uh, honestly, it still needs a little bit of work. I haven't battle-tested it yet. However, I'm looking forward to its achievements on the battlefield. And I think it'll do pretty well. All right, Ben Wheeler, the Mercenary King. Here we go.